Hello, friends. I am here to show you a quick Valentine's Day look, one you could do for any kind of date night look um, or any time you just want to glam it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here on the screen. So this is called Forget Me Not, and uh, it has a lot of shimmer to it. Um, the eyes are definitely the focus, um, but you are going to be um, pretty surprised at how simple and easy and how few products you actually need to use to um, achieve this look. So for those of you that don't know who I am. My name is Margaret and I am excited to share makeup tips that are simple and easy that you can do and feel um, and uh, look and be as confident as possible in whatever you do. So um, for those of you joining on Facebook, uh, thank you. Go ahead and chat in the comments there. Let me know that you're here. Say hello. If you're watching the replay, of course, let me know that too. And uh, over on YouTube. So if you don't know already, I do have a YouTube channel. It's called Makeup Movement and Mindset. And I love sharing tips on all of those things. Um, you will see actually a Pilates playlist there as well, in addition to some just overall mindset tips on how to, you know, just keep yourself positive and focused on, on the good things, right? And uh, of course, the makeup and skincare can't go without that. So I love focusing on the entire, you know, body, the entire person, right? We want to feel good on the inside and we want to also feel good on the outside. So definitely head over there if you're not already and subscribe to my channel. Okay. All right. So I'm going to jump right in. So already, can you kind of see how beautiful this eye look is and uh, you're going to be so surprised when you see how I applied it because it's so easy, so simple. So I'm going to jump right in. Um, the first color that you use is actually granite and granite is a shimmery color and it's very, very pretty. And basically the directions for this um, is to apply all over the lid and then up onto the crease as well. So that when you look straight ahead, you do see um, that color in the crease as well, as you can see as I'm looking forward there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Um, I love this Chroma Fusion shadow because it's just super um, life proof, they call it. It stays on very well. I'm going to use this little mirror here too. It stays on, which I love. It does not disappear. So I like that. And it's just a pretty, pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So that way you can kind of see where I'm going. And then the next color is actually one of our liquid eyeshadows, and it's called Meteor Shower. And it's a really pretty color. You can kind of see here. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to the lid like that. And I'm going to use another all over shadow brush, a clean one. And I'm going to apply it just to my lid area. Okay, so not all over where I just put the granite, but just on the lid. And I'm kind of just like tapping it in. Do just a little bit more. You could probably put that on the brush first and then put it on, but I just kind of either tap it like that. There we go. <laughs> and then just kind of blend it out. There we go. But it just kind of makes it a little bit more dramatic and, of course, a little bit more shimmer. So there you go. But the liquid dries to a nice powdery finish and it will stay on. I promise you. Okay. All right. So there is two, sh two shades. I use the granite and um, the liquid um, eyeshadow. Okay. So next up for the eyes, uh, the look actually calls for a gel liner. And I'm going to show you actually how to do it with um, something that you probably already have, which is a waterproof liquid eyeliner pen. Um, so I'm going to apply the liner with that. But just know a gel liner is really great. Um, it does I think look a little bit more dramatic um, and it has really good staying power as well. Uh, but I just find that I get the look that I like to have with um, the waterproof eyeliner pen. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my eyes. So you can see here, it's going to do a little bit across and I just use like short strokes all the way across. And this is a date night look, so I'm going to, you know, kind of make it a little bit thicker than usual. 
And then I'm going to do just a tiny bit on the outside. I'm not doing a full winged liner, but just a little extension just to kind of give it a little bit more of a look. And just know you're never going to get them to look exactly the same. Remember our eyes, they're like sisters, not twins. <laughs> so, um, okay. So now look, I've already done my eyeshadow. So there we go. And now the, um, the look also calls for a new mascara, which I don't feature very often. And it is called lash intensity, lash intensity mascara. Um, so this one, uh, is look at this brush. This is like for Vavoom lashes. Okay. So this is like my date night going out, um, type of mascara. And what's really cool about it. I don't know if I, if I face it forward, if you can see, Oop, I think like that, I know it's very hard to see, but I'll describe it to you. There is actually a, um, like a well in here on this brush. And that's where all of the product for the mascara sits. And so you use that portion of the brush first to apply the mascara. And yes, I already have a little bit of mascara on, but what you're doing is you're coating it first. So you're coating your lashes and then you turn it just like a quarter of the way and you're going to comb the mascara through the lashes. So it just allows you to get a little bit more coverage there and makes them a little bit more dramatic so for date night look i always put a, a little bit underneath my eye here just a little bit but yeah so coat and comb so if you do a second layer a second application remember you're coating like that and then you turn and then you're going to comb through hopefully you guys can see that so, yeah, now we're matching up a little bit more with the other side. Okay, so that's the eyes. Is that not so super simple and easy? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the cheek color. Now, um, always in in uh, these recommendations here, the um, uh, application directions, I'd say more often than not, they do um, uh, call for contouring and highlighting. And uh, I think that's awesome. But you know what? Even if I take a long time with my makeup i just don't really contour all that much and i probably should but i don't so i'm not going to do that today <laughs> i'm just going to do the um cheek color which is called darling pink it's a really fun nice pink color and you're going to see that the lips are also going to be complementary to the cheek color so now we're getting a little more a little more color going on there we go little shimmer in the cheek color as well. All right. So, and the lips think of pink. Okay. That's the name of the lip color. And then, um, pink ballerina, like my favorite things, right? Pink and pink ballerinas. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, uh, lip color. Because the eyes are so dramatic, typically you want to use a lighter shade of lips. So it's not so bold from lips and eyes because it, it kind of detracts, right? It, it sort of um, puts everything all together and you want something to pop and be the central focus. And obviously for this look, it's definitely the eyes. So that was Think of Pink. And it's a beautiful light uh, pink color and in the Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. Oh my gosh, they are so soft and so silky. Absolutely love them. And then um, the Pink Ballerina Lip Gloss on top. And then we're done. <laughs> so there you go. I told you it'd be fast and easy. So there. Mm. All right. Pink ballerina on top of think of pink lipstick. So thank you so, so much for watching and let me know how much you love this look. And, uh, you know, if you feel like you can replicate it, of course, I want to know, hopefully after watching this video, you feel like you can. And, um, yeah, I think it's pretty fun. I'm, I was so surprised that it was so easy too. So, um, I hope you love it. So anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.